Hi, this is filtering and sorting data lesson. This is the outline of this lesson. You can restrict the rows that are returned from the query by using the WHERE clause. A WHERE clause contains a condition that must be met and it directly follows the FROM clause. If the condition is true, the row meeting the condition is returned. Condition is composed of column name and expressions, constant, and comparison operator. In the example, the SELECT statement retrieves the employee ID, last name, job ID, and department number of all employees who are in Department 90. Character strings and date values are enclosed with single quotation marks. Number constants, however, should not be enclosed with single quotation mark. All character search values are case sensitive and date values are format sensitive. The slide shows the comparison operators that are used in conditions that compare one expression to another value or expression. In the example, the SELECT statement retrieves the last last name and salary from employee table whose salary is less than or equal to 3000. You can display rows based on a range of values using the BETWEEN operator. The range that you specify contains a lower limit and an upper limit. The SELECT statement in the slide returns rows from the employee whose salary is between 2,500 and 3,500. To test for values in a specified set of values, use the IN operator. The condition IN operator is also known as the membership condition. The slide example displays employee numbers, last underscore names, salaries, and managers S employee number is 100, 101 and 201. You may not always know the exact value to search for. You can select rows that match a character pattern by using the like operator. The character pattern matching operation is referred to as a wildcard search. Two symbols can be used to construct the search string. Symbol percent represents any sequence of zero or more characters. Symbol underscore represents any single character. The percent and underscore symbols can be used in any combination with literal characters. The example in the slide display the names of all employees whose last names have the letter O as the second character. When you need to have an exact match for the actual percent and underscore characters, use the escape identifier. If you want to search for strings that contain SA underscore, you can use the SQL as shown in the slide. The null conditions include the is null condition and the is not null condition. The is null condition test for nulls. A null value means that the value is unavailable, unassigned, unknown, or inapplicable. The slide example retrieves the last names and mangers of all employees who do not have a manager. The first example shows an SQL using the an operator. Both the component conditions must be true for any record to be selected. Therefore, only those employees who have a job title contains the string man and earn $10,000 or more are selected. The second example shows an SQL using the OR operator, either component condition can be true for any record to be selected. Therefore, any employee who has a job ID that contains the string man or earns $10,000 or more is selected. The third example shows an SQL using the NOT operator displays the last name and job ID of all employees whose job ID is not programmer, stock clerk, or sales representative. The rules of precedence determine the order in which expressions are evaluated and calculated. The table lists the default order of precedence. However, you can override the default order by using parentheses around the expressions that you want to calculate first. The first example is the precedence of the an operator, there are two conditions. The first condition is that the job ID is at underscore pres and the salary is greater than $15,000. The second condition is that the job ID is SA underscore rep. Therefore the select statement is. Select the row if an employee is a president and earns more than $15,000, or if the employee is a sales representative. The second example is using parenthesis, 
there are two conditions. The first condition is that the job ID is at underscore press or SA underscore rep. The second condition is that the salary is greater than $15,000. Therefore, the select statement is select the row if an employee is a president or a sales representative, and if the employee earns more than $15,000. In example 1. To reverse order in which the row are display, specify the desk keyword after the column name in the order by clause. The slide example sorts the result by the most recently hired employee. In example 2. You can also use a column alias in the order by clause. The slide example sorts the data by annual salary. In example 3. You can sort query results by specifying the numeric position of the column in the SELCT clause. The slide example sorts the result by the department underscore ID as this column is at the third position in the SELECT clause. In example 4. You can sort query results by more than one column. The sort limit is the number of columns in the given table. In the Porter clause, specify the columns and separate the column names using commas. If you want to reverse the order of a column, specify desk after its name. In this lesson we have learned how to use the WHERE clause. Comparison operators equals less than or equal, between, in, like and null condition. Logical condition using in, or, and not operators. Order by clause for sorting and the rules of precedence for operators in an expression.